Hey guys, Nathan here again, and it's time for another Q&A, where we're answering your questions about the Bible, the church, or anything else that you want to know. Let's look at today's question. How do you feel about the right to bear arms to protect ourselves? Well, I have to say, I think it's pretty wrong if you're ripping the arms off of bears just to protect yourself. I mean, it doesn't even sound particularly useful. I'd probably use something like, I don't know, maybe a gun instead. So perhaps we'll use another question today instead. What does the Bible say about gun control? Now that's a better question. And it really falls in with a lot of other questions you guys asked. They're questions that don't have exact answers. Because the Bible didn't have guns. But here's what the Bible did say in the Ten Commandments in Exodus. Commandment number one is this. You must not have any other gods but me. And that is 1,000% always and forever true. That if you put something in front of God, it is not going to go well. Because as Christians, we are supposed to follow Proverbs 3 instead. That we trust in the Lord with all our hearts and do not depend on our own understanding. So we seek His will in everything that we do, and He will show us which path to take. But which path are we supposed to take? Here's the best way to know what to do. It's a super simple two-step process. Step one, you pray about it. And step two, you do what God says. And I don't care if you are the most fanatic gun owner in the world. If God says keep them, you keep them. But if God says you need to get rid of them, you need to trust God instead of trusting in your own understanding. Because if you start to put those guns above God, you're in trouble. Because we just said, don't put anything in place of God. And the thing is, people want me to give you a checkbox. You want me to say, owning a gun is the wrong thing to do, check. Or owning a gun is the right thing to do, check. That way you can look at the box, you can check it, and bing, bang, boom, you're done. But that's leaving God out of the equation. And the thing is, we have to change our hearts. We have to change our hearts from following rules to following God. So we should always be in close communication with God on where we should be going and what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing. And if we ignore that, if we follow our own path and we put things above God, we'll start to find ourselves in some pretty scary places. So when it comes to gun control or romance or house buying or anything, just pray about it and do what God says. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember to click subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time on Q&A.